Hi, I'm Tim Tyler, and this is a brief video review of this book, Unleashing the Idea Virus by Seth Godin. So you can download the full text of this book for free from ideavirus.com, and it claims there to be the number one most downloaded ebook in history, although I somehow doubt that statistic is particularly up to date. Um, anyway, this is a book on the topic of viral marketing, and it came out in the year 2000. It was one of the first books available on the topic. Um, we'd probably now classify that as being the subcategory of memetic engineering associated with marketing. And, and the book has an abstract and gets full marks from me. Um, here it is on the introductory page. So it says, if you do not have time to read the whole book, here's what it says. Marketing by interrupting people isn't cost effective anymore. You can't afford to seek out people and then send them unwanted marketing messages in large groups and hope that some of them will send you money. Instead, the future belongs to marketers who will establish a foundation and process where interested people can market to each other, ignite consumer networks, and then get out of the way and let them talk. And that's probably a reasonable summary of the thesis in the book. Um, I wouldn't say that in the 10 years since this book has pub been published that things have panned out particularly like that. Um, there's still large quantities of broadcast, broadcast marketing, and biomarketing exists and is popular but hasn't really taken off on the scale predicted in this book. Um, so um, the book... It came out shortly after Malcolm Gladwell's book, The Tipping Point, which described um, how contagious ideas spread throughout society and reach a point where they explode into the world, basically, after, um, after they reach a certain point, um, they kind of take off. And um, the author, Seth Godin, he'd previously written a book entitled Permission Marketing. And the basic idea of permission marketing was that you couldn't afford to market to people using what he called interruption marketing anymore, and that you had to find um, groups of people who gave you permission to give them your marketing message. And this book, um, kind of a follow-up, and explaining how you could find groups of people to, that would give you permission to market, market to them, basically. Um, it's got some somewhat interesting terminolo terminology in it. Um, the title, Idea Virus, um, has pretty much sunk like a stone, I would say. Um, the idea of an idea virus is similar to the idea of a meme, and I would classify an idea virus as a super meme, so a, a particular kind of popular kind of meme. Um, he comes up with some other terms in the book. Um, Probably the main ones I would say, say are sneezeability and sneezers. So he's got the idea that distribution of the idea viruses depends on particular individuals, which he calls sneezers, um, and the idea viruses vary in their sneezeability. And um, also he thinks that the sneezers live together in kind of virtual organisations, which he calls hives. Um, he classifies the sneezers according to what he calls their promiscuity and um, this terminology I hadn't really come across it before reading the book and um, we kind of don't really use that terminology anymore uh, instead of sneezeability and sneezers we've got the idea of um, contagiousness and contagion and um, sometimes carriers and we don't really use the idea of a high for a whole bunch of people who spread ideas around instead there's communities and ecosystems um, and we tend not to call people who spread memes around um, promiscuous very much. Promiscuous is like a term used for people who engage in sexual activity and um, the sexual recombination of memes is a bit of a different idea from spreading them around. So instead of promiscuity, there's the idea of um, being rabid or being eval evangelical or proselytizing. So um, we don't really use the um, term promiscuous anymore. Um, there's a few other um, terms he uses. He calls um, memes that stick around persistent memes, um, and that's or he calls them persistent, and that's fairly standard terminology these days. Um, there's amplifiers that um, magnify the messages. They don't use that term very much. Um, there's vectors, which are kind of um, preferred distribution channels. So, um, again, I don't hear very much about vectors in the context of um, cultural evolution, particularly these days. So, um, a lot of terminology introduced in the book, um, innovative, but um, kind of hasn't really caught on and panned out, I would say. Um, and he talks about memes and memetics, but only gives them half a page. Um, so, I think the kind of memes are played down in this book because he's got his own kind of rival terminology. The idea virus is on the cover, so he spends the whole book talking about them and memes too similar to um, share time in the book with the um, the concept that he was trying to promote so um, but the idea that he was trying to promote didn't really take off so um, 
that didn't work out terribly well. Um, I don't, didn't really um, approve of having the idea of a virus in the title. Um, I kind of prefer the idea of a meme. Um, the problem with using virus rather than meme is that a virus has got a fair number of implications of being negative to the host. Um, meme is kind of neutral. You can have positive and negative memes, whereas um, viruses... Uh, not necessarily detrimental, but um, got more strong implications of being detrimental. So I don't really um, go for the terminology which is all based around viruses. I think it's probably better to use a more neutral um, term, and we've pretty much adopted meme these days. So um, that's um, what I think about that. And lastly, the book, because it's like 11 years old, um, it's probably a bit out of date. Um, the last two thirds of the book is a whole bunch of examples, and they're examples from the year 2000, and it doesn't work um, terribly well. If you're interested in getting a book in about um, social media marketing, then um, a book that's 10 years out of date is probably not the greatest thing for you. Um, there's mention of Google, um, there's mention of eBay, um, but Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, they're just not on the radar. So um, the examples that he uses is um, a bit out of date, and if you're looking for a social media marketing book, um, this one um, is probably not what you want because you just want something that's dealing with more up-to-date technology than what was available at the time, so of historical interest, um, but not really the greatest book. Um, difficult to write a viral marketing book that stands the test of time these days, and this one does a reasonable job, but um, yeah, you probably want a more recent book than this one. So, um, not too bad, but probably a um, bit of an out-of-date book, and hasn't, terminology hasn't really stood the test of time. Um, so, that's what I think about that one. Have a look, check it out on ideavirus.com if you're interested. So, enjoy.